What it do, fellas? So, yes, I'm about to tell you the things that you guys can do to make a woman remember you. Oftentimes, these things don't happen with women when they come across guys that they actually see potential in. So, I say it like this. You could have money, you could have status, but it doesn't always make you stand out to a woman that comes across a man that has money and status all the time. So yes, there's going to be basic things or, you know, amazing or high difficult things that men can offer, bring to the table, but there's a lot of common things that don't happen that fellas can do. Okay, so I'm going to tell you today, change the game for you guys. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and let's go ahead and get started. So first thing is having a nice soft lip. <laughs> lips, sorry, can't forget about the bottom and you know, there's two lips, okay? But having nice soft lips, listen, off the bat, she's gonna notice other things on your face. So like your beard, your mustache, anything else you have on your face, that is things that she's gonna notice right she's also going to notice your lips in order for her to remember certain things it has to be done clean has to be done softly it has to be done moisturized so if we talk about like the beard and we talk about the basic things yes she can remember you based on a guy that has a beard and stuff like that but not every guy she comes across is going to have nice soft buttery <laughs> buttery that doesn't sound that good <laughs> vaseline let's say vaseline lips Okay, so this makes you stand out because not so many guys put lip balm. Not so many, and not to say go put Vaseline. I'm just saying, take care of your lips, make sure they're not crusty. The other nice thing about it is because, the other nice thing about it is that you could have women actually just look at your lips and just wanna, wanna know more about it. I say this because if you have a nice smile, if you know how to talk as well, like, you know, know how to keep a conversation, be confident with it, not care. Once again, a lot of times you have to have a, a nice smile or keep your teeth at least white. So when you have that already off the bat, the attraction is growing, but this is the part where women will remember, oh, that mouth of his, that smile of his. So it's down to just this whole area. If there's hair, cool, beards, women love that. But you want to have her notice you. And then remember you based on things that she doesn't always see on every guy. Now, okay, yes, guys can have nice lips. Not every guy has crusty lips. But the nice thing about it is how clean it's going to be. So that's just the last thing I need y'all to get. Keeping it to the cleanest it could be is going to be nice. Like, once again, women love lip gloss or like lip gloss. Put lipstick on. All those things they feel more pretty they look better with it sometimes a lot of times okay so for you fellas with the guys that do do the hygiene properly they look good they look better and women remember them because of those things the time they take to make sure their lips is good to make sure their lips is soft so if it's not a priority or it's not supposed to be a priority in your life because you know we don't talk about it so much it's more known for a woman make it 10 times a priority Take care of yourself, take care of your skin. This is not about just skin, but those things matter and change the game of getting more women, okay? So I'll leave it out there, but you know, have a nice set of mouth, okay? Next thing is amazing eye contact. Now this is very, very simple. Simply look into her eyes, look into her soul. Let her, let her, let her just see everything that she needs to see. Keep keep her eyes up here, right? You know, maybe she'll drift and look down at that that thing of yours that swings but no i'm playing but the thing is with eye contact honestly i don't know if it's a discomfort thing or you guys are feeling a little intimidated and then also maybe insecurities or just something that you guys don't always do and it's really strange you guys can maybe answer why do you guys n not really do eye contact a lot of times i find fellas avoid eye contact way more than women now maybe woman to woman it's easier maybe women you know they have less to worry about you know not getting turned down they don't worry about these type of things like that so for you guys it's kind of like you have whatever reasons but you guys can't look at a woman straight in her eyes straight in her soul and have her gripped on you <laughs> now i say grip like that because there's other ways to get her gripped but there's basic ways simple ways you guys can't do it so the way you guys drift or look somewhere else, bring it right back to her. Eye contact is just very, very important. You make her feel important and you make her actually understand you're listening, you're there, you're present. So for a woman that deals with guys that are rude, guys that are never there for her, she's honestly seeking a guy that could emotionally be there consistently, a guy that could actually pay attention to her. So oftentimes, just because she looks good, 
obviously it doesn't mean she's getting everything that will make her feel good just because a woman can get all types of money or get all types of um anything from a man doesn't mean emotionally she's filled she's only filled financially so you know these things will make a woman notice you but then remember you afterwards when she goes home at the end of the night she can't she can't she can't sleep she can't sleep that night because wow I haven't had a guy look at me that hard in my soul and really pay attention to me like that. And y'all got to also understand that just because she's pretty or because women have it easier doesn't mean she's actually happy. So doesn't mean she's completely filled again. So when she comes around certain types of guys, things that you guys might think that she's encountering all the time, things that you guys feel like, okay, well, you know, she's used to this. Mm-mm consistency especially when it's down to her emotions to understand somebody really cares when women keep choosing these bad guys for them it's really valued now when you overdo it and this is what i'll say before we move on to the last thing that i have for you guys today um still discussion but i gave you guys three solid points hopefully you guys are taking notes or just remember but the last thing just understanding with the eye contact thing like it's making her presence to be known but you're not overdoing it a lot of times some fellas will kind of just give her the eye contact but extremely dead stare her like look her down and not even take their eyes off of her when she walks away so really the difference is balance as, as well like if you have the balance with it it's always going to be important but you're only giving her eye contact because it makes sense so it's like if she crosses a line or she starts talking to another guy you stop the eye contact right? You want to also have her remember you as a guy that isn't just, you know, thirsty, right? There's different ways to have her remember you, but the proper way, obviously, with this video is having her remember you in a good way and remember you remembering you over and over again to want to be back around you. Back to how you guys will do this eye contact. Do it simple. When she talks to you, when she's there, listen, give her the eye contact that makes sense to be given. But obviously, cut it short when it's necessary. And the last thing I do have to just say with the eye contact, if you are afraid to look at a woman in her face or you're just, your presence is fear, your presence is, um, I'm not sure, once again, you're kind of intimidated, she's going to know off the bat. So eye contact shows your confidence. It actually shows other qualities that are great about you that you can't just bring out sometimes when you just say, let me show this. So just eye contact, you having strength to look at her eyes, no fear, real conversation, real grown stuff, it shows a whole lot. Makes you look more masculine as well. And y'all always want to get the masculine points because nowadays these women are looking at y'all like y'all are so soft. And I know, are you soft? You're not soft, right? And if you're not in the gym, you got to get in the gym. But don't forget about your mental health, okay? Now, last thing on my list, fellas. This is pretty simple as well. But fellas do this one wrong all the time. And this is what you got to do correctly. Compliment her on something out of the ordinary. So this is an amazing, amazing technique, trick, strategy that, first of all, you can use with just any woman. If you want her to remember you, cool. Yeah, all, all that stuff is good. But what you're just doing in general, anytime you compliment a woman on something that's out of the ordinary, you're standing out yourself. So think about it like this. How many times a day does a woman come across a man or pass a man that tells her you're beautiful, tells her, you know, your eyes are nice, mm, you know, this, that, basic things that you will constantly hear, consistently hear from men, she's going to keep hearing. So with all that just being said, do you think you telling her you're beautiful or anything else that she honestly hears all the time is going to make her remember you? How many Joes does she go through a day that tell her the same thing? So the only way for this Joe, and you might have the same last name, Joe Alfred or Joe Rhino, Joe C Scenario. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of any words. <laughs> If you have, let's say your name is Joe S, and then we got Joe S over there, and then another Joe S, and then we got Joe Joe B, and then we got Joe S, so another Joe S. Dang, how can Joe S, Joe B, and all these other guys as well that I didn't even mention stand out or have this woman remember her? Remember him, I mean. Remember him again. Remember, oh, you know what? He said this. I mean, I've never heard of that before. How could you do that? And there's only one way, and that's giving compliments. Well, there's other ways, but 
in compliments in this type of validation form the one way is saying something out of the ordinary now now the fun part i'm about to tell you what you could say listen though i'm gonna have a part two because i could give you guys examples for like days i gave you a few pages you know books <laughs> i'm playing but i could do that if you want a part two let me know i'll drop that or part three part four you know how it goes but now the fun part let me get to it compliments out of the ordinary so i already named basic things you can say and there's other body parts area parts of her that are just like okay any man is gonna jump to that obviously body when you talk about body don't go straight saying just body obviously if you're talking about waist don't just say waist if you're talking about face don't just say eyes lips basic things so now the fun part is saying something like those earrings look good on you or that's you got you got chanel on okay i see you so basically what you're doing is first of all you're finding something out of the ordinary now earrings you don't want to find something that's going to be too corny so if she has earrings that stand out pick that out don't make it noticeable or don't make it a point to point something out that no other man would do if it wasn't you know like you know her him trying if a man was trying you know, you shouldn't, you you will lose her actual understanding that you're complimenting something out of the ordinary because you like it. So you still want to compliment her because you actually like that thing about her. You're complimenting something that you would actually appreciate or it makes sense. But the moral of the story is when you do say something, it's genuinely because not every other guy is going to think of that first or notice that first. So never go to the right or the first things a man would say. And so earrings could be one example or also like i was saying you can say something about how oh wow i see how you're moving like that with those earrings not those exact words okay gotta know your own words have charisma with it you know show your personality with it when you're funny you're goofy laughter all those things when you bring it to the table with you giving a compliment it changes the game now this is not a video for compliments this is why i said i gotta do my part too but i want to still elaborate to say the next part of like things you can say is going to be something that is suiting her. So once again, earrings can suit her. If you know what, she has, um, you know, cute earrings that just somehow make her ear, uh, ears look cuter. Okay. You know, you got to say something. Let's say they're red earrings. You can say red looks good on you. She has red also on her. And then maybe that could spark a conversation where she might say, oh, are you talking about my earrings or my shirt? Or maybe if she's not trying to give you any time of the day, she might say thanks. But the nice thing is that she walks away with thinking, oh, was he talking about my earrings or my shirt? Or, okay, well, he liked that. You know, not every guy likes that, but whatever. So it might be a whatever she walks away. Maybe she's just that cocky or, you know, she doesn't care about you type of thing. But you see, she walks away with remembering that. She walks away with taking that piece let's say a piece of knowledge from you <laughs> understanding something from you but she really walks away with something that not every other guy could have her walk away with so just once again so you guys can really really get this when she goes throughout her whole day throughout her, her whole week throughout her whole vacation encountering different men there's only going to be the selected or there's going to be only the few that did or say something that's different, that stands out. There's a lot of things that you guys might not know. I gave you guys some stuff, th some things today, but those are the things that you have to get. Because if you start doing it, you start noticing, you start having her remember you, come back for you for just something that is so easy, but not other guys are doing. So realistically, no matter where you're at, like whether you feel like you're low value, you don't have it in you, fellas. You can now make a change by still looking or saying things differently, making sure that you stand out differently to make her remember you. So the last thing I'll just say, and don't worry, once again, I'll elaborate on everything, the compliment thing too. I'll, I'll try to give you guys more examples, better examples of ways you can compliment her or how to do it in your own way. But the last thing I'll just say with everything that I mentioned, any fella can do these things. Women instantly notice and obviously remember you by these things when it's not something she's always going through. Women will maybe not appreciate it, but definitely they will maybe come back around or also maybe give you more time, more time of the day. But also don't don't fold, don't get too invested in your feelings where 
Okay, well, I gave her a little bit of this. Now I got to give her more of always compliments when I see her because this is what she liked in the beginning. There's going to be always balance. I didn't get to talk about that in this video because this is more strictly what you guys can do to change the game for yourself. But just remember, just choose all these things. Know the balance, but do it in your own way. Be yourself. Have confidence. Okay, fellas? That's it for this video. I would love to keep going, but y'all know what's up. Let me know what types of other videos you would like to see. And uh, did you give this a big thumbs up? Okay. Did you? Okay, thank you guys. <laughs> Bye, guys. Love y'all.